Excellent idea. Let's make tiny egg cups in a tiny home. Today we're gonna make these egg cups. There's many different ones, but we're gonna make a buffalo chicken one, a jalapeno popper one, and one with mushroom, peppers, spinach, eggs. So, what you're gonna need is eggs, jalapenos, green peppers, spinach, mushrooms, bacon, all oh, these thingies, green onions, cheese, cheese, spices. <laughs> Alright, let's mix a dozen eggs now. Okay, first things first, we're going to do a dozen eggs into this bowl. Ready? Let's go. Alright, ready? One. Oh, there's a shell in it. Son of a biscuit! Right off the gate. It's okay. Alright, only 11 to go. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna whisk together. Whisk them. These eggs. Okay, so we're gonna let those eggs sit and we're gonna get all the other ingredients ready. <gasps> okay, so next we're gonna do the chicken and bacon to get those ready for the buffalo chicken and then the jalapeno poppers. Cousin's gonna lay in the bacon. I will lay in the. Oh, I hate that chicken. <laughs> Alright, now we're gonna cut the vegetables. I don't know if this is the appropriate knife, but it's a knife and I've never cut a pepper, so. Um, and you've never cut one. Nope. Okay, I don't think we're not supposed to eat that part, so yeah, let's I cut the top off. Let's see what they have. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that seems right, right? Right. I'm just gonna put that over here, I guess. Okay, so then should I cut the bottom too, or just like half? I would, yeah, I'd do that. Half it, half it. And then you just use the I think, outside. I think the, you don't need the seeds, this thing. No. You don't need the middle. You don't need its guts. You don't need its soul. Its essence is all you need. Right. Is this right? Yeah. Should I cut the bottom? Maybe. Yeah. There you yeah, go. That, that's, that's what I want. Mm -hmm. Then we'll skin it. <laughs> yeah, just the, the don't cut towards yourself. It's fine. You're going to want to cut these finely. And I'm sorry if I'm not cutting these right. I don't know knives. So about a half a cup of, uh, uh, what was this, uh, green, green pepper. Next we're gonna cut up the green onions, which I've never cut up before, so I don't really know what's the green onion. Is it this? Oh. I think it's all of it, except for the hairs at the bottom. I don't think that's it. In most recipes calling for scallions or green onions, you'll use just the white root and the pale green portion of the onion. Okay, so, so we're, we're gonna, gonna go use there to here. To there, yep. All right. Sorry guys, I didn't really read ahead. I love that noise. All right, so you're gonna cut this many green onions up because that's how many you bought. Okay, now we're gonna cut up some mushrooms a little bit fine. Um, you could got them like the, the, the bulbs. Is that what they call them? Bulbs? But these are already kind of cut, but we're gonna cut them more finessely. Finessely. We just lay them out. Let me survey them all up here. And is that like a cup's worth probably? Mm -hmm. All right, let's cut them up. Crumble up that bacon. I'm gonna keep it in there. Did you get your finger? <laughs> oh, I burnt my finger on the hot skillet. Oh. Watch out, skillets are hot <laughs> still, people. It'll be okay. It'll be alright. Oh, yeah. You're alright. Sometimes you get burned. There's no other lesson than to get burned. One time, my mom made pizza rolls, and I got so excited, I grabbed the pan. <laughs> like, all right, pizza, pizza rolls. rolls. It's probably way more than a cup. But who cares? So, does anybody know how to cut spinach? I would just do. I just like knife on it and pull knife it. Knife on and, and pull just, on it. Yep. Just, just, just. 
I do this, she's also gonna shred up our chicken. You're gonna chop up your spinach. Um, I hope that's good. And like I said, we have our chopped up bacon. And we have shredded chicken. And now lastly, I'm gonna cut up the jalapeno. I, I saved that for last because it's a... It's a spicy. Cut this. Yeah, they say to like be seeded and everything. Um, but you want to save one, um, well, I mean, we're going to save a couple because they say to put it on top of the egg thing, like a slice of it, like real top. Oh. So it like cooks around it. Yeah. So I'm going to save, uh, a, like a couple. Okay. While I'm still cutting, we're going to preheat the oven to 400. Price is right. There we go. We're starting. Okay, so here's the thing I realized. So I mixed all those eggs in one bowl. But they all need to be separated. <laughs> for the... <laughs> For the other ingredients. So, we'll just have to divvy them in three. we gotta just divvy it up for the different recipes. Three equal parts. Three equal parts. 12 eggs divided by three is four. Yay, math. I did calculus, so. Okay, so when I was doing the this research, I wasn't fully reading. So, we did have to whisk up more eggs. And now I'm starting to doubt all of these measurements that I did. So this really is just gonna be um, trial and error. Trial and error, throw them in with your heart. <laughs> the, the spices. So I apologize. I'm not smart enough for this. <laughs> Whoops. Hard way. Yeah. <laughs> Get your muffin tin ready. It's hot sometimes. <laughs> so we're gonna spin. Non stick spray. Or you can use, um, some people use cupcake tin cup holders. Cupcake right. foils. Cupcake foil. Don't be foiled. Mm. <laughs> okay, so the first one we're gonna make is the buffalo chicken egg one. So again, I apologize that I don't really know if these are the right uh, measurements because it doesn't seem like a lot of eggs. So we're gonna do this one first. I can't open it. Oh <laughs> you want me to help you? I'm not good at that oh either. God. Here, let me try. I thought my hand's gonna. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in here they say to whisk in a third of buffalo sauce. Again, I'm not. This, it might be too much, but it's okay. So we're gonna put that in. And then they said garlic powder, but some reason on this they did not want to give me any measurements, which is my favorite. So we're just gonna throw in a little bit of garlic powder, just like a, that. And then we're gonna whisk that together. So whisk that. So now we're gonna toss in the green onions. You need to fill these. Did I write it down? I didn't, so who cares? So, like two thirds of the way. So, actually, give room to rise. Give room to rise to the occasion. And finally, but not least, last? Last but not least. Last but not, oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> So we're gonna 
put these guys in the oven for a good 12 to 15 minutes, so 13 and a half. <laughs> Start your timers. Let's go. Hot. Ooh. Goodbye, babies. Have fun. And then it's you also. They're ready. Now, do you have mittens? Yeah, right there. Thank you. Mittens? <laughs> you want oven mitts? <laughs> no, just mittens. That's gonna go play snowballs later. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Those ones really puffed up. So the one, yeah, the spinach <sighs> ones. Those my spinach puffs! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hot in there! <laughs> Oh, Hansel and Gretel, what fell into your oven? Yeah. I got a pumpkin seed from October. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going to try to get these out. We're going to do a chicken one and a jalapeno popper one. You're going to try the chicken one. I'm going to try this jalapeno popper one. Do it go all the way around and like loosen it. There you go. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. They can like lay out. And then I know you're not gonna like the this one, but I'm gonna pick uh -huh. it out too and yeah. try a little bit of it. So we're getting a ready. I can't believe those come out so easy. Thank you. Ah, ah! Let well, them cool first. Let them cool <laughs> off. Yay! So we're gonna try these. You get that one, I'll get this one. Oh my gosh. You're definitely gonna get the jalapeno with this one. <laughs> totally edible. <laughs> That's what we're looking for! Those are yeah. good. I'm gonna drizzle mine. You can drizzle these with hot sauce, they say, on like, um, whatever one you want. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, she puts hot sauce on everything. Let me try, let me try. This I'm not good. a fan of the onions in it. I would probably do without the onions, you but like it's onions. not bad. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That buffalo is good. Yeah. I know you're not gonna like this one, I'm gonna eat it. I would put hot sauce on these, and I would egg. I would egg tack these. Egg. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, no, that's actually good. These are pretty. That one's not bad either, with the jalapenos in it. I'm not gonna eat the one on spinach. Because there's, I don't like anything in that. It's not bad. I definitely want more hot in this, but I like hot. But this? No. Yeah. Good. I think this one tastes good. That one's good. Um. They're pretty average, though. Cooking average. They're cooking average. They're pretty average. Well, this was excellent. Thank you to my cousin for letting me use her home to cook these egg-tastic creations. Uh, no jokes about it. They were pretty good. Do we got any more egg-related things I can think of? Until we take another whisk next time. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done. See you next Sunday. Like and subscribe, please. Bye.